We've got Cave Club Finesse and Fura coming up after this. I totally thought I had a bone necklace. I think I have, and I've gotten rid of it over the years. Something that I definitely need in my wardrobe is a bone necklace. I don't know what to tell you about these things. Probably the best possible toy I could ever dream up. It incorporates all the toys that I love. I used to draw cave babies all the time, and I used to even dress like cave babies. Like I would buy shoes that were so big, Flintstone, rubber, I, I, I just I wanted to be a cave baby. And something else about these is they remind me so much of Monster High Family. Monster High Family was my favorite Monster High series. I know most people don't like it because it was the reboot era, but they really simplified and made it bright and colorful and cuter and chunkier and hunkier. And that is what I like in a toy. And that is what I'm seeing here. I told myself I was only gonna get the boy character these are available at Toys R Us in Canada. Yes, there's a Toys R Us in Canada. We're very lucky here in Canada to have Toys R Us in every province spread across this wide, large country. This was the only set that was in the store. Online, they have the four other single pack girls, and then they also are selling the blind eggs or staglemites or whatever those things are that have the pets inside. Those are $15 each. This was 30, kind of expensive, but considering one of the dolls go for 20 in Canada, these are Canadian prices, so they're gonna be a bit high. I think they're 15 for Americans, 19.99 for Canadians for the single doll. You get a pet with that though. So it's a pretty good price actually. This set comes with another character, a baby. This is the babysitting pack. Let me put on my cave glasses. Cave Club, Furnessa and Fura wild about babysitting. Oh, and they have it in French there underneath, so this is an international card, and it shows really cute artwork. This is a YouTube series, so you can check out the stuff on YouTube and watch it if you want to. I think I watched the first episode, but there's lots of episodes now. There's a new one every Friday, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if it advertises this on here anywhere. Vanessa loves watching over the cave tots. Cave tots are adorable, but Fura really keeps her on her bare toes. So that means that she doesn't have any shoes on. I like to not wear shoes. This is so incredible. I'm gonna have to open up this box really, really carefully because I might have to keep it. And I think I've decided that I am gonna get all of them, but I still haven't ordered the other single packs. They're exclusively available online at Toys R Us right now. I haven't seen them in store. I asked and it seems that nobody has them in store and the boy is not listed. So I'm gonna wait for the boy. He's really cool looking. He's my favorite, but I definitely will have to get them all because it's like a toy dream come true for me. I think there's a few Monster High designers that work on this, so that would be why there is a connection. And I'm super, super impressed and happy about this. They are articulated. They stand a little shorter than Barbies though. And they really do seem to be implementing all of my favorite toy features with mixed textures, solid molded chunky pieces of bright colored plastic, squat, cute, adorable bodies. They have a lot of articulation, which is something that I don't really like or need or require. Do cavemen wear glasses? These ones do have a tortoise shell pattern, so. Yeah, I might be so bold to say that Fisher Price, a subsidiary of Mattel, is my favorite toy company, and Mattel is my favorite toy company. I think it is because they do stick to making old school toys, which aren't always the most popular toys of today. But I like characters and physical imaginative play. And that is what they excel at. I think they're paleo. Of course they're paleo. There's some little cave drawings on the back there. I like those. They're like, I don't know, handprints maybe. I'm gonna have to do another video where I compare this to Monster High. If that is something you want to see, let me know. Okay, this is cute. and smaller 
and differenter. It feels more like a LOL than it does anything we've seen from Mattel, but it is cute. The hair is really plasticky, but spongy, and I love that it's in a fro, so it does work. Then we got this bow, which is a clip, but it's elastic banded, so I guess I won't take out that elastic band to make it stay in place. She is in a pucker position. The diaper is really rubbery, as you can see, and it's removable, and that is her bum. I'm gonna have to take off all these clothes for sure. She's got a little bib, and it is elastic banded it on. But we're gonna take that off. And this is her little Velcro shirt. I love all of the prints that we're getting with these because I'm a huge fan of animal prints. According to the fashionistas are super in style right now because most of the fashionistas came with animal prints this time. Let me show you the baby blanket with the mammoths on it. So good. Reminds me of the Fisher Price fabrics that they make. Really, really cute and adorable. Look at that plant. Love the color combinations. Really odd, obscure color combinations that shouldn't go together, but they work really well. Just like Masters of the Universe, which were my original favorite cave baby toys. This is our book that has dinos in it, and there's a sun and stars. So cool. Now, humans and dinosaurs weren't on the planet at the same time, but I can accept this. This is fun, awesome play. I loved watching the Flintstones when I was a kid. I'm taking off her little rubbery diaper now. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. I love that it's super rubbery and cute and adorable. And then here she is in all of her naked baby glory. Her bum is cute and she's got really fat chubby legs and really fat chubby feet. And I love a plump, cute baby. And her arms have uh, joints that don't only go around, but they also go outward. So we got lots of range of motion there. Really cutey, cutie, cutie, adorable. And look at that hair. So, so adorable. Okay, and here is the crib. We gotta put her in her crib because she's been bad. There are amazing stony details on there. And if you look in there, you can see different things in the dinosaur prints on the backboard there and really cute covers and it's quilted quilted in stone and uh, I'm gonna just sit her over her hair in her playpen sleeping bed adorable I showed you the book let's slam that in there I definitely I guess I'll have to put her on this cute little adorable rocking dino afterwards that is how that's made. It's got a clip in so she stays on. So cute. Colors look so great together. She's got a little lunch carrot that she can snack on. That's totally paleo. Let's uh, throw that in the crib with her. She can have her diaper in there too. This is her bib that she has and you can see that there's cute little dino details. Oh, is that a dinosaur body? So that when she puts the bib on, she has a dinosaur body. That's adorable. That's her shirt. I showed you the shirt. Uh, two other accessories, which I don't know what you're supposed to do with, and I actually can't even see what this is. Is it some kind of prehistoric crab or something? Why can't I make out what that is? And why does it have a tab? What is that supposed to clip onto? I don't know. But she also has this cute dinosaur with legs and a tail and everything and it clips on to oh that's what those pegs are for and those will clip into place you call this a crib or a playpen and i'm struggling okay so the trick is to put her arms around first and then put her legs down in it okay and then we get this mobile with pterodactyls flying on it isn't that cute and see how there's a bone and a vine at the top? That is what you put into the dino's mouth. So the dino holds the mobile, which looks like it's gonna get tangled in her hair because it's so fluffy. You can kind of push it out of the way like that to get her in and out. That is so cute. Oh, I know what you do with this. This is a pacifier, but I still can't figure out, is it a squid pacifier? An elephant pacifier? Is she really sucking on a squid? 
a trilobite? I don't know what it is. And then she has her baba, which is in green. And I guess it has a leaf pattern on it. Yeah, that's cute. I like that. So it's plant food. I have a hard time actually making her keep that in her mouth, but you can eventually. I don't know why. It doesn't really stay. I guess it's the kind of thing that you kind of have to hold in her mouth. It's not a secure fit, but you can get it to clip into there. Cute, cute, cute. I'm just going to stick her on this right now, naked. And this is what she looks like riding her play dino. <laughs> and I don't think she's going to be able to stay up because of her hair. Oh, well, there we go. You have to make sure that her... Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, it's a good thing she's protected if she falls back, though, because she's got all that cushion. But you make sure that her head's tilted as forward as possible, put her arms forward, try to let her reach for the handles, even though she can't reach them. She's a cutie. All right, for Nessa, we better take a look at her. She's the main doll in the set. She's the one doing all the babysitting. Her hair is pretty soft. It's a medium soft. It's not as wiry and rough as some, but it's not as soft as a Barbie fashionista hair. But it, it is pretty plasticky. And then I love all the little details. And I know most people aren't going to agree with this, but I love that there's no paint on them and that, that they're just big patches of bright pops of color all over her body for her shoulder pads and for her headband and for her anklets. One of them has an elastic band on it and one of them doesn't, and it's staying on nicely. I am going to remove the elastic. I guess I have to remove everything so we can just examine the body and the articulation, and there seems to be a lot of articulation on these, but I do want to show you her in her full form first. Hopefully the elastic bands are not needed to make the shoulder pads stay on because I really don't like that in a toy when you have to keep the elastic bands on to make the accessories stay. And it looks like we are getting a good clip in. It's not totally tight on her, but you can turn her upside down and everything and her shoulder pads are staying on. So I am very pleased with that. The headband is fastened in. That's another thing that I don't like. In this instance, because I love how it looks so much and I don't want to like redress her or anything, I am going to keep it fastened in and also the hair is hiding the fasteners. So I am just going to keep the fasteners in even though it's something that I don't agree with. I don't think that you should have elastic bands or fasteners on your toy. It should be able to stay together by itself. But I want the headband to stay in place because I think she is perfect the way she is. The clothing is not hemmed, but it's made with that, you know, polyesterine material that doesn't fray. And it, again, another awesome animal print. And I love these anklets. Reminds me very much of the Monster High Tiki series. Do you guys remember that? This is bent down in the front a little bit because her shoulder pads have pressed it down a bit. It's all unhemmed, so just jagged cut from the material. And the Velcro just goes midway down her back. While we have her shoulder pads off and everything, we might as well check out the body type on her. They got this Moana body type thing going on because Moana had really thick bottom legs. So this is happening in the cave culture, really tiny up at the top as you can see. Bigger bum and then gets even bigger down to the feet. Fat baby, cute, adorable feet, which I love. Really big heads, which I love. Really great face paint, adorable. She kind of looks like Gabby Hanna. I like her. I can't wait to get the boy. I'm definitely going to have to get the rest of these. I'm going to show you another overview of everything at the end of the video, but uh, let me know what you think of the new Cave Club. I'm loving it. I'm going to have to get them all. I hope you will like, comment, share, and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time. Do you guys want to see a body comparison video? Even though maybe you can tell by the size of me. Oh, wait, I have a Barbie fashionista right here.
so let's do that. Here's a new Barbie fashionista with pink hair. And here is her with pink hair. So that's how tall she stands. They still feel like 12 inch toys because they are more stocky and I think that they're kids. So basically they are in the 1-6 scale. It feels just as substantial as a Barbie. Oh my goodness, I didn't show the articulation. That's how much it means to me. So the head just twists. It's not a ball joint, it just twists back and forth. The shoulders go in every direction. The elbows go in every direction. And the wrists go in every direction. So they're kind of like ball joints. And then the knees bend and twist. These are a ball joint at the hips, but there's not the greatest range of motion outward. Can't believe I didn't show you that while well, I didn't have her clothes on. I don't want to order them from Toys R Us because the mail takes so long to come. I ordered some Barbies that took three weeks. They just came from up the street and it took them three weeks to come. So I think I will wait for them to show up in the store and hopefully that the boy comes to Canada. Cute. Gotta get all her clothes on too. All right, I love you guys.